Hey guys, and welcome to our webinar here. This is actually a re-recording. We had some issues previously with having no sound. So we're going to re-record this uh, not online, so you guys do have a, a version to watch and to listen to. So again, if you do have any questions, feel free to email me directly at support at m2tblade.com, or you can also email our education team if it's regarding any of our uh, tools or techniques at education at m2tblade.com. So today is our functional IASTM webinar. Um, it's presented by the m2tblade.com. So a little bit before we start, this privacy and all rights reserved. Everything here is copyright from 2015 to 2020 by Innovative Health and Fitness Education in behalf of Canada Incorporated 978-8549. This information is protected and must not be re reproduced in any way unless written consent release by Innovator Health and Fitness on behalf of the Entity Blade. So let's get in. So first, a little bit of the company that we just um, discussed, so Innovative Health and Fitness Education. We're the developer of the M2T Blade and Vigor Kinetic Tape. We created the Vigor Tape and Kinesiology Tape Education plus our M2T Blade um, tool education. So we have a few products out there. We also have a dry needling product or dry needling course um, as well. We develop courses on proper utilization of the M2T, corrective mobility exercise selection, and integration into practice. We currently have offices both in Stony Creek, Ontario, which is just up in Canada, and Pompano Beach, Florida, which is soon moving to um, Orlando, Florida within this month. We primarily have courses for trainers, therapists, students, and doctors. So our goal for today's webinar, so we really market this and promote this to some is learning, wants to learn more about instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. So our webinar, the four things that we want to touch base on today is about IASTM, the theory and how it works, the principles of the application that you can use in your practice and, can, and how it can help your practice. So we want to go all the way through what is it, how does it work, why does it work, and how it can help your patients. So those are the four things that we want to cover. Next, we are going to give you some bonuses now. Again, if you were on our webinar before and you couldn't hear because of a sound glitch, we are going to give you some free stuff as well. Be sure to double check your email or email us directly at support at mttblade.com. So please ask questions. There's a button on your screen where you can type in your questions. We want this to be interactive and live. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot it in that box. If we don't get to your question, um, we're going to spend about five, six minutes at the very end of this webinar to go through everything that, that I may have missed. You will get sent a recording to your email. This is the recorded version that you're going to get, so you can watch it many times. The link's going to never expire, never go. So again, if you want to watch this, um, you can for many times. Now, that being said, we want to make sure that there's a lot of information in this webinar. We go through a lot of details and a lot of specific conditions. So again, don't worry if you miss anything because you will be getting a recording. Next thing is have fun. So a couple other things we're going to talk about here today is we will be giving you a little bit of a bonus as well. So if you want to move forward with our Blade product or online education product, we're going to give you $100 off. We're also going to give you a free box of Vigor Tape. So if you place an order within this webinar, you're going to get the $100 off that program plus a box of 24 rolls for free. If you want to get, um, if you want to get involved with that, please email education at mttblade.com. That's at the very bottom right through here. So before we even get into our instrument assistance soft tissue mobilization, we want to talk about a little bit how we put this stuff together. Before we treat tissue, we must properly assess. Now, one of the biggest things that we want to always provide is that instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization is just a one-off, just a one modality. If you're a chiropractor in here, massage therapist, athletic therapist, physical therapist, there's lots of stuff that you're going to do. This is just an extra tool for your toolbox that you can use to help your patients. So again, we want to make sure that you're using this the most appropriately and efficient way to get the best results out of your patients. So again, the first thing is we must always assess, treat, and correct. So in our courses, in our seminars, we talk about our functional assessment overview. We do through dynamic movement assessing, treatment using kinesiology tape, and instrument assisted mobilization, and our corrective techniques. So here are the three steps. We start off by our assessment, go into our treatment, then we walk into our correctives. <clears throat> so first, our assessment. Assessment should be the cornerstone of any treatment program. A treatment program should be one based on one's capabilities, not just your dysfunctions and limitations. Meaning we want to see what a client can do and what they can't do. We want to start from our global to specific movements. 
So there are many forms of assessment. So we can go from movement screen, performance, range of motion, soft tissue palpation, or neurological. Second, once we determine the exact areas we want to work on, we go into our treatment. So in our assessment, if our client comes in, say, with shoulder pain, we don't want to just look at the shoulder. We want to look at the entire globe movement from the thoracic spine, cervical spine, shoulder, and elbow, see why that's not moving. Then we can use our tool to help correctly identify those dysfunctions. From there, we want to retrain movement patterns. We want to start off with unilateral work. So again, this last or this fourth point here is probably our most important point, is we want to start off with mobility, stability, strength, and movement patterns. So again, I want to always find out what's not moving and make it move better. That's our mobility. For example, we'll talk with the knee. If somebody comes in with your office and they have knee pain, there's usually a case where, unless it's an acute trauma to that area, there's a case where there's too much um, repetition and stress going through that joint. So we want to find out why that's actually happening. So nine times out of ten, it's because if you look at our kinetic chain of the ankle and the hip, we have rigidity through the ankle and the hip. It's going to cause that knee to move more. So we want to help loosen up the ankle and the hip so we have stability to the knee. Once we create that stability through the knee, or sorry, once we create that mobility through the ankle and the hip, we can look at stability stuff throughout the knee. And then we go to our strength and our movement pattern. So again, when we look at instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, or IASTM, we always want to find out, okay, what's not moving, and how can I make it move better? For our purposes here, we start off, once we find out what's not moving, we start with our soft tissue. So we treat the soft tissues, we go to the joint, and then we kinesiology tape. So a question here is, um, we have this question all the time, is how does kinesiology tape work? Well, again, kinesiology tape is not a treatment, it's an adjunct. So again, kinesiology tape helps prolong your treatments and helps, um, helps you achieve a goal when they're not in therapy with you. So again, we use kinesiology tape to help retrain those movement patterns. So again, if we have that knee that's not moving very well, we can inhibit or facilitate a muscle or, or movement pattern to help with that. So again, if I've worked on that knee, I've looked on the ankle, I've worked on the hip, I can then place my kinesiology tape to help that client move better when they're not seeing this, when they can retrain those movement patterns. Next is what is mobility? So again, mobility is a little bit of a catchphrase, especially in, um, say, fitness and therapy. So mobility is the ability to move freely without limitation to normal range of motion. Like we just talked about, the knee with the ankle and the hip. So how many of your clients have restricted mobility? Probably almost all of them have some sort of restricted mobility. So again, if you're looking at that shoulder and they have that shoulder pain, we want to look at all the mobility through the thoracic spine, the neck, and the elbow so we get the most out of that treatment. And last but not least is our corrective care program. So whenever we're doing instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, we always want to help strengthen that area with our corrective care program. So corrective techniques will determine from the assessment and reinforce. So again, we need to retrain the body. If the body has been injured, it's going to compensate around that injury. So we want to retrain that with our corrective care program. We're actually going to show you agonist antagonist retraining techniques at the very end of this. It's a cool little um, technique to help you get help your clients turn on those muscles right away. So corrective, ex, corrective care program is foam rolling, strength and move patterns, various flexibility techniques, and agonist antagonist retraining. So again, like we talked about in our uh, treatment, we always go mobility before stability. We want to create a mobile pattern before we stabilize it. So what is mobility? So here, our goal with assessment. So we're going to go a little bit more into assessment. On the left side is what we teach in our program. So we do a lot of assessments. We're always assessing whether it's range of motion, muscle testing, strength. We treat and then we go into our corrective. Most times, a lot of the clients that we work with, they do spend a little bit of time assessing, a little bit of time of correcting, and a ton of time with treating. When you integrate instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization into your practice, the number one thing that it actually does is it cuts down your treatment time. So it gets you to spend more time on other stuff that you like to do or that your patient needs to have done. Now just a review of our kinetic chain. So first thing is lower back pain. So kinetic chains are how one thing in the body affects another. So how our body works together. Our body needs to move in a fluent pattern and it's, and it's affected by each joint. So again, if we're not looking at the entire body, we can never really get rid of that pain. So we need to look at the kinetic chain. So if somebody comes in with lower back pain, we need to look at the, the hips, the hips, the core, and the thoracic spine. With the knee, like we talked about a few times before, so we have the ankles, low back, and lumbopelvic hip complex. So the ankles are going to be tight, low back are going to be sloppy and, and weak, and then the lumbopelvic hip complex is going to be tight.
Next is the shoulder and neck pain. So if somebody comes into your office with shoulder pain or neck pain, we need to look at the pecs. Pecs are going to be tight, shoulders are going to be sloppy, meaning tight and weak, and the scapula is going to be tight. So when we want to look at our um, we want to look at our testing, we want to look at what's called dynamic movement testing. If you're done FMS or SFMA, there's lots of different types of assessment techniques that you can do. As long as you can find out what's tight and what you need to create mobility with, you can go ahead and use it. So form predicts function. So we always want to see what their form is. It's going to predict the function of the body. Your patient needs to move properly in everyday situations. So again, we always look at our clients and how they squat. Every action throughout the day involves squatting. Whether you want to sit on the toilet, walk up the stairs, um, get into your car. You're probably sitting down and watching this right now. To get into that squat or to get in that seated, you need to squat. So again, we test the squat because the squat is going to tell us a lot about how our clients move and how we can help them move better. So we're going to test these baseline movements to see what's not moving, what's going to move better. So again, if I have an old lady that comes in, or an older patient that comes into my office, I want to see how she squats. I want to see so it will help make her everyday life better. If I find when she's squatting, she's compensating a lot of her lower back, we need to look at further out of the lower back to see how she, we can get her to move better. These are all going to be baseline movements. And then we want to correctly identify dysfunctions through our kinetic chain, so how one thing affects another. So how our lower back affects our hips, our hips affects our knees, and our knees affects our ankles. Like we talked about before, we talked about this probably over three slides, mobility for stability. In order for the proprioceptive system and motor control system to work properly, when something is stiff, something has to compensate. So if something's not moving well, something has to make up for that lack of range of motion. We want to find out what's stiff and how we can make it move better. Then once we do our <clears throat> overall global movement testing, which is our dynamic movement testing, we want to look into our muscle testing. So a muscle dysfunction can come from nerve, joint, muscle, or chemical. We want to determine why that muscle is not moving, so we're going to go from our global to our specific, and we can make it move a little bit better. Now in this webinar, our, our goal is really not to do muscle testing. Now there's lots of resources out there that you can do. One of the top resources we like is Dr. Ken Kanatkin. His Optimal Muscle Testing book is really great. It teaches you how to muscle test all these different areas to get the best uh, response. So let's go into more about IASTM. So assisted, instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization is a new form of treatment of the fascia and connective tissue. A newly developed tool allows the therapist an extremely efficient way to locate functional disorders of the connective tissue and to treat them. So this tool does two things. It helps us locate those functional, functional disorders and to treat them. So this is more of an assessment tool and a treatment tool. So we can find out exactly where those adhesions are that are, ca are causing mobility issues, which is causing pain, and then we can treat it with that tool as well. So instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization is carried out with an ergonomic design tool called the blade with aid of fascia restrictions can be detected and treated. It allows the rapid localization and treatment of fibrosis, chronic inflammation, and degeneration. The ergonomic design of the blade allows a therapist to track down adhesions in the fascia and treat them with regional pressure and thrust technique. So we're doing this, our training is we're triggering of controlled microtrauma and the effects of tissues to stimulate local inflammation. The microtrauma initiates the reabsorption of fibrosis and excessive scar tissue. Thus, the healing processes are initiated and in consequence, the tissue can reorganize. So a little bit more about fascia and how, why we're interested in fascia. So the fascia has been termed by Grotz in 1938 as a functional joint because it provides strength, structure, extensibility, and flexibility all in one. It weaves itself through muscles, ligaments, and joints, not only that, but also the nerves, head, brain, and organs. So what we're looking for is a myofascial adhesion when the fascia gets entangled. If it gets entangled, it's going to cause two things. It's going to cause compression stretch to the nerve and lack of mobility, which can affect that kind of chain, causing issues down the road. So fascia is a connective tissue within the body. Think of your entire body wrapped in fishnet hose, both internally and externally, including each individual bone, nerve, and muscle. So it's all over the place. Over time, that fishnet hose gets entangled and will require adjustments. If not, you'll develop an impingement. Fascia works in the same manner. Once fascia becomes entangled, impingement occurs. It may impinge blood circulation, muscle movement, or nerves in the body. Over time, myofascial adhesions occur as a result of unintended impingements. So we have those clients that always come in that never have any kind of issues, 
but they don't move very well. Again, it's not, so that was what we call those repetitive strain injuries. So if her body's not moving very well over a long period of time, it's going to cause um, those issues. Now, we also have those clients that come in and say, I always do this sport, I always do this movement, and I get injured. Why do I get injured? So most of the time, they have a myofascial adhesion in that area. It's going to cause that injury. We need to clear up that myofascial adhesions, get our clients to move better, so stop that, that pain cycle of being injured. So here is a quick picture of a myofascial adhesion. So again, we have two muscles. So again, think of, I always tell my clients, my, my, uh, the fascia system is like saran wrap, sticky wrap, or cling wrap, like we wrap our, our food in. Our muscles to provide motion need to slide back and forth. Fascia has lubrication between it, it allows muscles, ligaments, and tendons to slide back and forth to create proper mobility. If you ever try to play with um, saran wrap or sticky wrap, it's very hard, it gets very stuck. Using our tools, such as the MTT blade, we can help find where those that sticky wrap or cling wrap gets stuck and help loosen it up. So how we fix the condition. So again, we use instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. When the tissue is damaged, it will heal in disorganized pattern, forming adhesions and scar tissue. These adhesions will lead to limitations in range of motion and increase in pain. Instruments or tools are used to aid in the practitioner's ability to detect these adhesions as well as treat them. Like we talked about a few slides prior, in order to talk about how you do this in the next slide, that we can actually find exactly where those adhesions are occurring and treat them. Instruments and tools are used to restore the quality and dysfunctional soft tissue. This is achieved by introducing microtrauma to the tissues, increasing inflammation, and thereby speeding up repair within the body. So scar tissue and adhesions prevent the fluid movement of muscle, tendon, and ligaments, such as fascia. As your MTT blade glide, instrument glides over the adhered tissues, the stainless steel tool will reverberate the feeling in our hands. Like a stethoscope amplifies the sound of the heart, instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization tools, such as the M2T blade series, assist us in finding exact areas of restriction. They help us to break down the scar tissue, and over time, this process will reduce or eliminate the adhered fibers, restore function, and decrease pain. How does it decrease pain? If I have more mobility, I take pressure and stretch off the nerve, and I stretch off the nerve, and I can also help increase that blood flow in that area. So depending on the treatment plan designed for your clients, the MTD blade is used in conjunction with other techniques. So again, this is not a standalone treatment. We want you to use this with your ultrasound, your IFC, uh, your manual therapy. This is going to help cut down that treatment time so you don't have to spend same amount of time and we can also get better results with your clients. So a little bit about the M2D blade. You probably have seen it on our website or our social media spots, but the M2D blade, which stands for myofascial mobility tool. So with this tool, we're trying to create myofascial mobility within the actual body. So it's a double bevel with a both a superficial and deep treatment edge. We have eight trim points to affect all areas of the body. We have integrated a handle for increased control and outcomes. It can be used in either hand. It's made in Canada and it's made of a, what we call a surgical grade stainless steel. So why is a lot of steel out there is um, what's called a porous material. So if you're using it on your clients, it can actually trap dirt, debris, skin cells, oils. With a surgical grade stainless steel, it's a non-porous metal. So again, it's not going to trap any of that, any of that dirt, debris, or skin cells. One thing about the M2D blade as well is that's used in over 30 countries. This image is actually old. Um, it's used in 34 countries now. We're actually sold to the Kingdom of Bahrain and um, Vietnam. So across the world, it's one of the most widely used instruments. And here's a picture of it here. So just to help outline it. So we have the M2D blade logo right through here. On this side, it's cut at a 35 degree angle so we can achieve those soft tissue. We have eight treatment points, so we have one, two. We use our treatment edge number one and two to help scan and local, and help um, help with those superficial edges. Then from counterclockwise, we have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see a lot of our competition will have um, many tools that have six, seven, eight tools. We've created so it's it's one tool. It's um, eight tools all in one.
Now let's talk about that tissue assessment. So your assessment should include global movement, range of motion, and um, tissue quality. MCT can be used as part of your assessment to determine the tissue quality. So like we talked about, we talked about a few slides before. We start with a global movement, range of motion, muscle strength testing, soft palpation, and assessment. Then we go into our treatment. So assessment steps, like we talked about, global assessment, range of motion, palpation, and then we use our tool. Our tools, we assess to find, detect those faulty tissues that have those mobility issues. So once the area has been narrowed down by the assessment, the MTD is used to find specific areas of restriction. We want to do what's called a sweeping motion. So we go sweeping motions in multiple areas of, or multiple directions of the tissue. So again, we're going to sweep it, we're going to hold that tool at a 45 degree angle, and we're going to find those little bumps, those little rice krispies underneath the skin. When I go over those adhered tissues, there'll be a tactile feedback felt through the tool into the practitioner's hand. In some cases as well, if it's really chronic, you would be able to hear it too. Once areas of interest are identified, treatment with the M2T can proceed. So now let's treat with our tool. So emollient cream or lotion should be applied to the patient to help prevent skin irritation. Tissues should be treated from superficial to deep. The MCT must always be held at a 45 degree angle to the targeted tissues. The MCT can be pushed or pulled, but should only be used in one direction at a time. Only moderate pressure through the tool is needed to affect those tissues. If severe reddening of the patient's skin develops, it's usually a sign to move on to the next area of interest. So in each area of the body, we only want to treat for 20 to 30 seconds, then we can move on. When we're assessing, we're trying to find the line of dysfunction. The line of dysfunction is the direction we feel most of those myofascial adhesions and with the direction of the actual injured tissues. We always treat in that same direction that we feel the most adhesions. Now, we can treat the M2T in a, with the muscles in a length position, shortened positions, under load, or through an active movement. During our live seminar, we actually go through of how we can treat those tissues in each four of those. So through a length of position, a shortened position, under load, and active movement. So the MCT blade can be used in any direction. The practitioner must assess the line dysfunction first prior to treatment. So you want to find out what direction you feel the most myofascial adhesion. Once the adhesion is determined, the tool can be used in straight strokes, fanning or feathering, or pinning and stripping. Again, we'll, during our live course, we can go through those techniques. Now let's go through our corrective movement. So what we talked about is our assessment, then we went through our treatment, and now we're going through how we want to correct it. Now again, correctives can be a whole course on its own as well. So I'm going to give you just a, um, a quick, easy way to actually do these correctives. So again, you want to assess, you want to treat, and you want to retrain your client of how to move properly. So just to review it all, so we assess, we treat with the MCT blade, we go into our agonist antagonist retraining, we retest and we go through our corrective or movements. So isometric agonist antagonist retraining, what is it? <clears throat> so it's a technique to reestablish neurological firing pattern that the muscle will experience with normal corrective or rehab exercise without putting a dynamic load or stress through the muscle or joint. So after an injury to repetitive strain, receptors in the muscle ligaments and tendons and fascia are altered and may send abnormal signals information back to the spinal cord and the brain. When a muscle or joint is injured, movement may be impaired, which will increase the activity of the nociceptors, which creates pain around the joints. So if I have an increase in nociception, I'm gonna have a decrease in mechanoreceptin. So mechanoreceptor activity is reduced since the joint movement is restricted. Isometric agonist antagonist retraining will increase mechanoreceptor activity, which will influence the nervous system at the spinal level and inhibit nociceptive activity. Hence why it, is, it feels better to move an injured area. So why are we performing this after M2T blade treatment? When an area has sustained an injury, the soft tissue movement pattern, there may be limited neurological firing, blood flow, and nutrition to the area. When I perform my isometric agonist antagonist retraining, it will improve neurological response, prepare the tissue, and retrain the muscle or movements. How we do this? Just like the appropriate muscle testing, the practitioner slash trainer will shorten the tendon muscle while applying a perpendicular force that matches the strength of the tissue or movement for seven seconds. Once complete, the practitioner slash trainer will perform the same technique to the antagonistic muscle. So if I'm working on the bicep, I'm going to first apply this technique to the bicep, and then I'm going to apply it to the tricep. I'm going to do that three times to the bicep, and three times to the tricep. 
So thank you for um, listening to our webinar. We hope you learned a little more about instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, how it works, the assessment, how it works in your practice. Again, we want to make sure that you don't, we're going to give you a little bit of a deal here. So if you go to m2tblade.com backslash master dash IASTM backslash, you'll receive a master coasting program, which is, the, which is the M2D Blade training manual certification video series, private coaching with one of our healthcare practitioners, full access to one of our coaches, and six hours of training and you get certified in level one. Now with that as well, we're giving it for you guys $100 off, plus we're getting a free box of Vigor Tape. If you don't know what Vigor Tape is, go to www.vigortape.com. So let's field a couple of questions here. Uh, M2T stands for Ma Fashion Mobility Tool. So I'll let you guys type in a few of those questions here. I'm just go through some. Looks like we don't have any questions. So again, if you do have any questions, feel free to email us at education at m2tblade.com. Remember your bonus. Your bonus is if you get our online program, you get a $100 US discount, so $100 off the actual product. And you get a free box of tape. So our box of tape is 24 rolls of tape. It's about $300 value. We're giving it to you absolutely free if you order our online program. So go if you want to get that offer, email education at mtblade.com. We really appreciate you guys for sitting on this webinar for us. We hope you learn more about this product, more about this modality, and that you can help your patients down the road. Again, we'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear back from you. So email us directly at support at m2tblade.com. Thank you and have a great day.